Yeah. Rowan. Hello. And a very good evening it is to my friends in uh, North America. All over the place. And yeah. Yes, that's correct. So uh, good evening, gentlemen, and uh, thank you thank you for inviting me to your conversation. Yeah, and, thanks uh, for joining us. Jim had to go take a piss, so he'll <laughs> be back in a minute. He'll be excited that you're on, though. Hi, Rowan. This is Alan Levine. Alan, uh, good evening to you. I believe this is the first time I've spoken to you, so it's very, it is. very exciting for me. Tim, also, yeah. uh, first time, so very exciting for me. And Jim, um, glad to speak in real time once again. I heard you mention um, the first first time we had a conversation, that was with um, uh, Brian Lamb in Vancouver. And I think that was unofficially, that, that time was unofficially called uh, uh, Nobody's Listening. And I, <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time when I you heard me wandering around my house while I was talking to you. And that I think that was the reason how you coined the phrase nobody's listening because I was always listening. I just had to take care of something. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm always listening. I'm always here. And, um, yeah, thank you. How, Back to you. How, how, did you how, how, how did you come across DS-106, Rowan? How did you hear about this? Away. So where's Rowan Peter? He's, He's right there call? next to you, man. He's here. He is here. Oh, I don't see him. We we're just chatting. Uh, it's got audio. I don't know if he's got video. Hey, Rowan. Doesn't look like it. Yep. How you doing? <laughs> Jim? Yes. Tim oh, Doom. It's <laughs> Dude, Rowan, I love you, but I know you're not listening right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not listening I know, I to asked, a word I was saying. I asked him a question, he didn't respond. <laughs> He's the best. Do, do I need I I've got many voices layering up. Do I need to put my headphones on? Uh, uh if you've got the radio going, you may need to mute it or the TV station or whatever you've got going, you probably need to just mute that. You just hang iTunes out is going to go off. Here we there go. You go. Yeah. That would be it. Here we go. Sorry, men. Sorry about that. Not a problem. That's Who's okay. We love you, answer? Rowan. <laughs> Dude, uh, how is everything going with you? Uh, very busy. My boy is now seven uh, seven weeks old. Alex, he's going okay, and uh, he's being a baby, and he's awesome. So um, I haven't been able to do as much as I'd wanted to, but uh, I'm very happy to um, have him here, and he's safe and well. So thank you for asking him. My wife, um, my missus. As uh, sometimes the the good lady wife is referred to here, she's going uh, very well as, uh, also. So yeah, we're all happy. Yeah. Thank you. You've been you've so, been awesome. You've been, and to think that you found a baby during all this is amazing. <laughs> it's the first DS one hundred and six baby. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I'm not sure. If it was, I'm not sure if it was Tim or Timmy. Or, or Rob Rob Nyland who coined the phrase "dadcore" and Dad I loved core. it. And Dad I, I was, core. <laughs> and I was, it was I, I'm sorry. It was, I think it was you. Maybe it was Rob. But I, I saw the. I think the it was Rob Nyland. It was. I think it was Rob in a comment on one of my posts. He said, yep. "That's Dad it. Core. That's it." Yeah. And I'm yeah. totally trying to work him, uh, my boy Alex, into some um, some projects. At, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that'll be fun. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now, congratulations. Alan, Alan? Yeah. Yep. Excellent. First time to speak to you. Um, how's your travels going? I've been, I, I would, uh, the, the, the day you had the, uh, you spoke on the radio about your blog post about how you're leaving your current job. Now, since I listened to that and I checked in and um, that was good, but now I'm not sure where you are now. Are you at home or have you started your journey? Uh, I'm still at home in Arizona. Uh, I'm going to start in June uh, with some with my travel, and uh, I should be in Vancouver uh, on that part probably by July, and then going all the way across Canada. I hope. Excellent, excellent. Because I, I haven't been to Canada, and as Canada being you know one of the common our Commonwealth brother, I have a, I think it's part of my duty to actually go to Canada. 
and um, just share some, you know. I, I agree with, with you. <laughs> so many people from Canada come to Arizona. It's like it's like a, a I say it's the Southern Canadian province. <laughs> well, they all come down here I, in the winter. Rowan, <laughs> let me yep. point out something. Uh oh. Alan's spending much of his trip in Canada, which is yeah. very un-American. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're like so American in Canada, Jim. They're they're like no, they're not. I love the Canadians. I truly believe in what they're doing. They're my community in many real ways, but they're not American. They're much nicer than you Brooklyn people. That's true. I w I would agree with that. They're not American. Damn it. Hey, uh, Ro yeah. Rowan, where in, where in Australia are you? I I'm, I live in Melbourne, Melbourne, Excellent. Victoria, which is. Down the down the yep. bottom. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the geography. You may or may not be, but yeah, down the bottom, but not in Tasmania. So, yeah. I've been I've been uh, there twice to Melbourne. Oh, when when did you come over? Uh, I was last there in uh, 2000. Wait, I was there in 2009, and uh, I was there in 2007, and another mm. 2000. I can't remember. 2001, maybe. Oh, you're a local then. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I uh, I love I love Australia. I love Australia more than Canada, actually. Wow, mm -hmm. but, uh, uh, that's very 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 kind, man. Now, men, I think we're everyone here is American, so hopefully you can field my call. It's a it's an American question, and particularly sure. uh, about um, Virginia. Now, I was hey, curious you. what. So, Jim, I think this covers off you and also Tim. Is that correct? That's correct. That's right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's about... <laughs> it's, <I> think... <laughs> Love it. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Hit us. Okay. Well, Hit me it's, with your it's rhythm about... stick. <laughs> it's, about the, <laughs> it's about the Virginia accent. Now, it's quite... What made me curious or was curious for my ear was um, I was listening to... DS 106 radio, of course, and the, and the somebody or he, uh, Mike Watt always gets airtime, and then I was listening to his accent, and then I heard Jim's, and then I did I, I searched about uh, did a Wikipedia search on, of course, everyone's favorite Mike Watt, and it said originally he was from Virginia, now and I thought, uh -huh. but it said that he left when he was young, when he's relatively young, but he still had an accent which sounded like Jim's. Now, is that true? I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, is, is that accent, is it from a particular province or, or section of Virginia? Because I looked on the stub about Virginia. It said all these different types. Now, is that true? Because there's something about with the A's, that the, the, the sound of the A. Jim, Tim, can you um, help me out with that, please? Okay. Let me go first, Tim. Mm -hmm. I am originally from Long Island. So my accent Long Island, is, Long Island. Is, Long is, Island. <laughs> is very much a New York accent. Ah. Mike Watt is actually probably a California accent because he was a baby when he left Portsmouth, Virginia to go to um, where he lives now, which is San Pedro. So we have mm -hmm. very different accents, but I did live in California for seven years. So when I first had my accent, it was half New York and for many, half California. And people actually ironically thought I was from Australia. <laughs> that's because, because the, that's, what, that's what catches my ear because the, the, there's recently or there's a bunch of movies set in Boston and, and yep. they do something with the A's. Um, I'm not sure what suburb or part of that. But that it's, and then the non-roticity of the A sound sounds like an Australian A. And I go, what? They sound like us. And I read about it, and that was quite interesting for me. So when I hear an A, the, that, it's all, I'm always um, interested. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's yeah, right. It's, it's, and then yeah. New York, and Long then Island from, uh, does Ohio. very different things with their so. A. They have, uh, like, when we say water, the A yeah, becomes yeah. very, like, water. And then yeah. uh, daughter, and yeah, it yeah, becomes yeah. A very strong. 
Water. 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 My daughter I needs some water. water. <laughs> go fuck yourself. So go fuck yourself. Exactly. But yeah, we have a very distinctive Just accent. Things I've heard. Which is quite different from even the West Coast. Boston has mm. even a harder accent. It's the A yeah. is really pronounced the Yad. And, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, no accent is cooler than the Australian accent, right? I mean, this is true. that's ultimately that, what we true, we yeah. aspire to. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's exactly true, but um, that's what's part of the fun is um, with the radio as well, hearing the, um, the, part, the people who are uh, participating in this sort of, in the in the course, they get on the mic, and that's always interesting for me because I thought, oh, so that's what those people sound like from there, or that's what they might sound like from there, and I don't know it's all just part of about finding out or uh, about people around the world and stuff. It's great. It's that's a real uh, personal way to connect with people, and uh, it's really interesting for me personally. So but, yeah, let tough, me though. ask you this: What would be the yep. difference between like a Melbourne accent and a Sydney accent? <laughs> Oh, well, you might say more things like, yes, sweetie, and oh, yes, and things like that. So you'd probably put more affectation that you were from England or particularly from London as well because you're more, um, you know, inner city and more cool. So <laughs> more cool. If you can imagine a half Proper. English, like an Australian accent, but knowingly not being Australian and more English, but like, I don't know if you know... Uh, like Kylie Minogue, you know, she speaks with that kind of strange sort of English accent, but still Australian a little bit. <laughs> I like that. So affect. The Sydney folks are affected. Yeah, absolutely. And it's intentional affectation, of course, because you don't want to have an Australian accent because it's a little bit, you know, dodgy or something like that. <laughs> totally. I love that. <laughs> And then, so what do you make of what I do you make accent, Timmy do Boy I? and Alan's accent? Do I even have uh, one? I, I'm not, I don't have an I, accent. I, guess, I know uh, that's right. I mean, not because it's because it's so. I can't. It's not as distinctive as it doesn't stand out for me. Not because you're generic or boring, Alan. It's just that I don't know it enough to know it's different from anything else. Where there's something about Jim's or that style which I go. What's that? That is something, or not? Not you. <laughs> that is something. I want everyone from that area, from that talks like that. That's what I thought. I go, wow, yeah. that's quite. <laughs> Especially but when Jim's like some... yelling at his students, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't yell at them. I just guide them. <laughs> yeah, guide them emphatically. <laughs> yeah, Build them yeah, up to be a better it. people. Get away from the water. That's it, in you, a so way. you have to tear them down. You should have heard my mother talk. My mother had the thickest New York accent you've ever heard. I mean, it was crazy. You wouldn't probably even be able to understand her. Oh, the that, thickest. I mean, it was crazy. It was like she would say words like the A would go places that it's never been before. It's like, I'll tell you, like film would become film. And Earl would oil would become Earl. It's almost like she was Irish. I mean, it was weird. I mean, but that, very very uh, thick accent. But maybe that's old style because my grandmother used to say like film and balloon and all that kind of stuff as well. But totally. and and she's from yeah. Melbourne, Australia, so maybe <laughs> that's just how they spoke in you know that period. Yeah, it might be. But I I found like she was impregnable linguistically. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't <laughs> even understand that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe some people, uh, maybe if other Americans are talking to other Americans, it's not as exciting. But when I talk to people and they not that they, they sound like they're not from around these parts, I'm always a bit more curious because it's, uh, it's, it's a little uh, amusing, not in a bad way, but it's, it's fun to, to, to hear a different lilt. Yeah, so I'm, I'm enthusiastic about that. <laughs> so what am I, a clown? Am I here to amuse you? <laughs> you didn't know, Jim? I yeah. said it's why, not. Why do you think this course is so popular? Uh, uh, I said it's... <laughs> 
Jim, you're a cult. Yeah. <laughs> I am a cult. I'm a fucking cult. I just don't know what I'm selling yet. That's that's what I haven't figured out. Kool -Aid. Is it it's Kool-Aid. It's what Kool-Aid. Kind of Kool like, what are they buying? <laughs> okay, let's talk it's, about this for a second. This is important to me. So let's not they're buying, treat it. But they're buying, they're buying a different experience. They're, 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 it says, I want something that's outside the norm. Okay. So I can I want live with that cold. Yeah. Yeah. I can you should. Live. Because, you yeah, should, because it's like when I think about it, like when I say that, I immediately like pull back. I'm like, I don't want to be a fucking cult leader. But if it's like I'm not trying to sell them religion. I'm not trying to sell them like – any kind of God, because I'm not in a position to do that. I'm just trying to sell them like, hey, online is important. Online identity is something that you think about. And telling stories yeah. in an interesting way is probably valuable. Right? Well, when you do that, you, you, you elevate the, the, the students and the people you work with. I mean, you, you put them above you, actually. Well, I mean, the only person I really care about in this world is Rowan Peter. <laughs> he's maybe the he's maybe the only single person I care about. And what's really hurt me, and I think I've walked around like a wounded deer all semester, is because Rowan Deer I mean Rowan Deer, <laughs> Rowan Peter decided to have a fucking kid while DS one oh six is going on, which I thought was very very selfish. How dare he? Unbelievable. Poor, and, did he, poorly timed. Did he? Quite frankly. Did he name his child Bava? <laughs> he didn't. He didn't even name <laughs> his Alex. Of all things. <laughs> which is which is Australian for Bava. <laughs> it's, that, it's that accent working. Brilliant. Now, I, I, sorry, men. I've been. I must apologize, men. I've been I've been uh, talking to you guys and having a great time, but I haven't been paying attention to the Twitter stream. And I saw that Doctor Doctor Garcia has gone to bed, which which is unfortunate because I thought she may have been able to join us this evening as well. I'm a big fan of the Doctor. I yeah. uh, I listened to uh, her uh, live reads of Peter Pan, which which is um which is great because I finished work and. Just, you know, I, I, I put the, I run the, I step out of the office, I get, put the web services on my phone, put the headphones on, check it all in, and then, and then she always picks up and picks up and starts reading the chapter. So that's always fun for the train and the bus ride home. So I, I really enjoyed the live readings of um, Dr. Garcia, and I want to say thanks personally, but she is, uh, she's actually she's not in bed. bed. No, noise, pro noise bed. professor needed to go she's to bed. She's listening. She is listening she just to us right tweeted. now. She hears you, Rowan. Oh, the good. Eyes good. and ears of DS106 Radio. The men's, hear you. the men's club, I think, scared her away. She is oh. always on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and she's That's scared I... of nothing. <laughs> no, no, I don't think she is. But, um, uh, she she's uh, holds up in the blue shed, which I found out about, and um, <laughs> that's that's quite interesting too. But um, what what what's interesting also is that um, about the doctor is the 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 his stories particularly they're quite personal and it's quite interesting to hear these things. You, I'm not sure if you would if you didn't know someone, would you normally talk that way? But anyway, it's just it's quite fascinating to find out about uh. stuff and. Uh, and also you, about that side of America, because I don't know about that side at all. And I, you know, based on that, which which I kind of do when someone checks in and says, "Yeah, I'm from this particular place," uh, I go do a bit of a Google, uh, Google Wikipedia search, and I found out about Pacific Grove, which is quite nice, which I had never heard of. Yeah. And also, one of the famous people that lives in Pacific Grove, according to um, the Wikipedia stub, is another person called Gina. Who writes for like all these TV shows? And I thought, hmm, a, a session. I thought to myself, I wonder if that Gina is the same Gina, but not the Dr. <laughs> Garcia, but under a different name. And I thought that she was like masquerading as this other person. That would <laughs> be awesome. Be cool. That'd be but I have. 
The other thing is, <laughs> Rowan, you one of the few people on for some of the best DS106 radio between me and Dr. Garcia late night, where we talked that about was, on her walk home. That was terrifying because she stopped talking and said and and spoke into the phone, which was being broadcast, and I could hear as if you, she was masquerading of having a normal conversation, and she never told us what it was, but it was probably something unsavory. But That's because right. you don't say what it was, you just go, oh, my God, you just saw something. And then she presented to have a conversation with you and me, the listener, but it was it was excellent. And then um, yeah. there was great. other things. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it was quality listening, and I was just sitting here, I don't know what time it was, maybe similar time now, I'm not sure, and it was just, it was very strange and it was quite enjoyable because, I don't know, it just was. Not because I'm, I'm uh, like listening to other people's conversations, but. Uh... <laughs> no, she's yeah. good. And yeah. you should hear if you have it, and I don't know if she's posted it, but she posted like a 12-song, a 13-song series of her childhood, which was based on a the theme, Songs to Grow By, that she came up with. But she narrates yeah. these 12 songs, and it's mm. brilliant. It is brilliant mm. storytelling through song. I mean, it, yeah. it's really magical. And I would highly recommend. I mean, Dr. Garcia is like a freaking layup for DS106 Radio. Like, she is it. She's on it all the time. She's mm. totally social. She's totally all over the place. She's like, fuck you. I'm doing this. Fuck down. She doesn't care. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I think it's the sass. I think the sass. Yeah, totally. She's <laughs> awesome. but now I, I know, Doctor. You looks like you're listening. Um, but is is the Doctor's accent a West Coast accent? Is that just if we're to, just sorry to bring it back to um, the way North Americans speak? But I'm just curious if that's the the sound. Is that normal? noise? Professor is a West Coast accent. I haven't heard nor, um, him speak. Zach. Zach, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't heard him. So maybe one time I'd like to, I don't know, hear what he has to say. But just out of curiosity, I'm always interested. Dude. <laughs> yeah. What a dude. dude. <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> He's very West Coast. I lived on the West Coast for seven years, Rowan, in L.A., okay. And, right, but the the he, north northern California is a whole different species, though. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and uh, Cog Dog's going to join them soon. <laughs> Cog -Cog. <laughs> I'm going crunchy, man. <laughs> you are totally going crunchy. Get ready. So the Quag Dog. <laughs> the Quag Dog. Quag. The Quag Dog. So my accent is that particular that you can actually reproduce it? I'm trying, but yeah, it's because it's the A that does it. It's something with the A, it just just makes me flip my wig. I love it. <laughs> flipping, I'm flipping <laughs> Rowan Peter's wig on a regular basis, and I didn't even know it. You're a wig That's flipper. A title. <laughs> You're a fucking it's by default, flipper, though, Jim. It's like, oh. Here's Jim, and then he says something with a with particular vowels in it, and my wig just goes nuts. It's funny. <laughs> you have no control over your fucking wig. <laughs> Look at Timmy boy. He's yawning again. You know what? As if it were like five in the morning. I know. What's wrong with you? Seriously, what is wrong with us? <laughs> Come on, Timmy Good grief. Boy. You are the glue. That holds together DS-106 right now. Eight months old. When you old. go, we go. Eight months old. Eight months old. Look, Sweet. Rowan Peter is on the phone, and he's got a seven-week-old. What time is it in Australia? Back it up. <laughs> Don't ask about it. Do time. tell That's what time it relevant. is. That's irrelevant. Oh, it's relevant, all right. <laughs> uh, I've just been informed, thank you, Doctor, that the my accent has no homeland. Okay. Understood. Thank you. Mm. Good. Uh, thank you for answering that question. <laughs> hey, well, uh, no, it's uh, eight candy. third. No, it's uh, three past eight on a Saturday evening, evening here in Melbourne, Australia. So just in case you're wondering, to answer your question, and men, I just have to wander around the house. You might hear me, but I am listening. Don't worry. No. Hang on. Are you listening? 
I am. Please continue to talk amongst yourselves. I have to check on something. Thank you. Okay. Are you listening, Rowan? Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you think better he's be listening, listening anymore. Listening. <laughs> he's going to the water closet, man. <laughs> I just don't think he's listening. I'm not convinced. He's so damn polite, like, though, said, about hey, it. hey, Rowan, you know, I, I hurt myself. Call 911. Do you think you'd call it? <laughs> you know, I thought the Canadians were nice, but Rowan has to be the most polite man I have ever met in my life. <laughs> Rowan's fucking awesome. It's amazing. I love Rowan. Me and yeah. Brian had him on, like, first thing. It was, like, early DS-106 history. And he was there, and Brian was hitting him with all these questions, and it was just whatever happened. And, and Rowan was playing along, and he was having serious fun. Going crazy. Uh, man, where where did he come from? I mean, how did he stumble into that? He's back. Don't get mad at me. Do you hear me? Man. Upstairs? Uh oh. Uh oh. Jim's in trouble, man. I won't be. Okay. I just got reminded that in three hours I have to be at a soccer field with my son. Uh-huh. 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 The O becomes an A. Or like O becomes the A W. Soccer. Soccer. So I gotta be at a soccer field and my wife is fucking pissed. I'm drinking my seventh beer at night. Let the record show that Jim so unlocked at five o'clock. Drive so I don't get pulled over and get arrested. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm an American <laughs> Right? That's what we do in America We're free I <laughs> don't understand that So your wife yanks your chain <laughs> They don't understand true freedom Soccer field's not You, know? you have to drive to soccer field I thought soccer field's like We didn't get taken over by the Germans Fucking Italians <laughs> Is, excuse me, men. Yes. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, and I'm, I'm back in front of the Puda. I oh, so just, you're listening uh, again? I am, sorry. I, 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 I've come back, but it's, I have to go, but um, hopefully I can... Uh, what? Well, I, I, I'm sorry. You have to, I have go? to go? Man. I have to it's leave this conversation, unfortunately. But fortunately, uh, that means I get to eat. And spend time with Alex and my wife, so that's excellent. The roast pork is done, so it's One now time. Yeah. Time to eat a <laughs> delicious. So to enjoy this the is pork, an open. That's it. I will, and this is an open invitation to anyone, obviously, who l- is listening, and also to you men I'm having a conversation with. Anytime you come to Melbourne, come on down and hang out, and that'll be fun. So um, please do. And hopefully I catch you on another Skype call uh, in the future. And Absolutely. Dr. Garcia, and a very good night to you as well, Doctor. Thank you. And Cheers, everyone else. Listen. See you, Rowan. Yeah, thank you very much. Rowan, we love Cheers. you. I love DS you too. Say DS106 for life. Uh, DO... <laughs> wait, wait. One, two, three. DS106 for life. Mothers! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. Love it. Boy. Good Cheers. night, Rowan. Yep. Hey, Cog Dog and... Timmy. You're off the hook yep. now. <laughs> Thanks, Cog. Thanks, Jim. Timmy Boy. Thanks yeah, for Rowan. dialing me up. No problem. Good night, Rowan. Guys, bye now.